If you start something anew, you probably will do it again and in a different way, better than before. Hi, Oklahoma, it's John Johnson. How about this year? Come meet an auto dealer that's been in business over nine decades with long-standing employees that serve customers from experience. Come say hello to me, Jeff, and all our Johnson's Auto family during the Start Something New sales event now at Johnson's of Kingfisher. See our new Ram 1500 Bighorn crew cabs at johnsonsofkingfisher.com and you'll begin to understand why more folks are switching to Ram. And what about the SUVs? Hi, it's Jeff Johnson. Over the years, not much has changed at Johnson's of Kingfisher. A great staff with products that just keep getting better, like America's most awarded sports utility vehicle, the Jeep Grand Cherokee. They're pretty amazing. Come test drive our new Jeep Grand Cherokee L now at a dealership you'll find in a place like Kingfisher. Johnson's of Kingfisher, Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram. Same name, same family since 1927. F&M Bank loves giving back to the communities we live and serve in. Banking with us ensures your money goes back into your community. Our goal is to provide you with reliable banking you can trust, delivered with unique passion for service. F&M Bank has all the modern banking services, mobile banking, lending, reward checking, electronic checking, and more. We invite you to come see us at any of our eight locations. Come find out what relationship banking is all about. F&M Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. As one of North America's largest producers of oil and natural gas products, Oventive believes safe, reliable, and affordable energy is fundamental to making modern life possible. We also believe in building strong relationships in the communities we operate. Locally, Oventive is proud to employ 100 Oklahomans and support our schools through scholarships, sports funding, and FFA sponsorships, preparing the next generation for success. Visit oventive.com community to learn more. Medic Pharmacy and Gifts in Kingfisher is unique in that it offers all the amenities of a modern pharmacy but also takes you back in time. Trevor Wilson provides you top-of-the-line experience in the full-service pharmacy as Medic also offers a hearing aid center, free delivery, and a convenient drive through We offer a wide range of cards and gifts as well as a full line of Traeger Grill products. Hungry or looking for a refreshing treat? Stop by our snack shack and have our famous orange aid at our old-fashioned soda fountain. That's Medic Pharmacy and Gifts in Kingfisher, 405-375-3202, or come by at 119 West Admire. And good Friday evening, everybody. Welcome to the Kingfisher APB as we get set to bring you semi-final action here at the Buckle of the Wheat Belt Invitational. My name is Michael Swisher, joined by Dave Cameron. Final of eight games here on the second day of the Buckle of the Wheat Belt. Your Kingfisher Yellow Jackets getting set to take on the Guthrie Blue Jays. The winner will play Weatherford in the championship game tomorrow at 7.20 p.m. The loser will have Perkins at 4.20 p.m. for third place. Guthrie comes into tonight with a 7-5 record. They've won four games in a row. Currently ranked number 14 in Class 5A. Beat Chisholm yesterday 55-22 in the opening round team that got third at the Woodward and Weatherford tournaments earlier this year. Part of this current streak beat UConn and they beat 5A number four or 5A number four El Reno at the time on the road 67 to 64. Also beat Shawnee and then of course Chisholm last night. Guthrie has not played at home since December 16th. When they wow. lost the Crossings Christian that night 58-55. So we know how good Crossings Christian is, and it's a Guthrie team that played them within 58 to 55. Again, last year these teams met up in the championship game. Fisher won it 60 to 40. Yeah, and you go into El Reno, is that what you said? They went to they, El Reno. They won El, at El Reno. Wow, that's a good three. win right there. Absolutely. We know how hard that place is to win. Yeah. yeah.
your jacket starters brought to you by Scott Watkins. He's pretty good at it. I wonder if he ever thought about talking for a living. Yeah. Kingfisher 12 and 2 on the season. The Yellow Jackets ranked number two in class 4A. Won seven games in a row since losing two in a row to end the Tournament of Champions in Tulsa over the holiday break. Guthrie wins the toss. Kingfisher in the man-to-man. -man. Surprise, surprise. Shot is missed. Right now, he gets the rebound. It's Harper with the spin move to miss the shot. Blue Jays will 2-3 zone look. Extend it out. So the Jackets look it over. They'll run their first set of the game. Then they'll try another one. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's crazy is what it is. And those are those passes are no-nos against the zone. Yeah. Um, the jackets do that routinely and yeah, especially a bunch of guys that can jump and are long. Blue Jays just about turned over, but Corbin Wicks able to corral it back in. Witt guarded by Sternberger. And the jumper falls for Jalen Shell. Got the uh, home roll on that one. Now a man to man. Which Jackets are probably just fine seeing that. So we've seen them doing this, trying to post up Mecklenburg. Really something, hey, take advantage of his strength. He's a big, strong kid, but also just something, do something to get him going offensively yeah, early in the game. Exactly what I was going to say, get him going. Scored 18 points yesterday. Yeah, high score, right, I think. I'm he was. Ask Wolf for sure. Yeah, but, yeah. Derek Wolf are. I wonder if that stake has to be an ounce for every point he scored. That'd be pretty good. Hey, Derek. Was Maddox the leading scorer yesterday? I think, judging, I, Derek tells me I'm number one, but I so I think that was a yes. Mecklenburg makes both. He was six of seven from the line yesterday. Long three-pointer drained by Braden Morgan. Blue Jays up by a point. Mecklenburg tries to answer. His three-pointer is long. Right now it goes to four. Hops right back up. Pass goes out of bounds. Kingfisher ball. Now, I'm not too sure that it's not a, uh, a zone on a miss and a man on a make right now. I guess we'll know more here. Cash short on his three-pointer. Rebound Morgan. That three-pointer up, in and out. Nate Benford, rebound Sternberger. Ooh, yeah, got a, little, got in a little hurry there. Five minute substitutions. There's Judd Birdwell, Drake Friesen check in for Mecklenburg and Sternberger. Sternberger still chastising himself for that turnover.
Foul underneath. Benford will shoot a pair. Guessing they called that on Judd. You guessed correctly. <laughs> Benford misses the first. And misses them both. So still 5-4 Guthrie. Jackets were able to score on consecutive possessions. Back to the zone. And that pass is taken away as Ridenauer tried to get it down in the quarter to Cash. But Guthrie gives it right back as Jalen Harper tosses it out of bounds. So, Imagine that. So old he doesn't notice. <laughs> Gerald didn't see it. So the rumor is true. Yeah, they run that play again. Great pass from Cash. Great finish from Kitchens. Definitely able to break the press. And 24, he did a lot of that last night. He had a lot of offensive rebounds. Corbin Witt. He didn't get the putback, though. Cash up ahead to X. Yeah. This pass has worked against Hera, not going to work against Guthrie, as the Jackets are finding out. Birdwell going to shoot two, the 251 mark. Hmm. New cheer from the student section. Great shot there from Kenny Lunsford, our event of baseline can. Birdwell makes the first. This, this seems like one of those teams Birdwell could have a, a big night, uh, kind of slashing down there along the baseline. Mark it down when it happens later, folks. They've <laughs> said it here first. It doesn't. Forget about it. Eight to five. As he makes both. Well, you heard Reese call for that trap, and it forced the turnover. Eight to five jackets, and they get the ball back. Freezing for three. From the corner. And then Sternberger with the steal, passes it back in. Friesen runs it down. He pay, needs to pay be off, rewarded. Pay yes. off. Two straight threes by the Jackets. 14 to five, Kingfisher. Timeout, Guthrie. 2.18 to go, first quarter. We'll be right back. Nearly 200 years ago, mercy began with one woman who inspired others to protect the vulnerable, comfort the sick, and deliver exceptional care wherever it was needed. This ministry still endures today with the same mission, to share God's mercy and make your life our life's work. Mercy, recognized by IBM Watson's Truven as one of the nation's top five large healthcare systems. Again. Fair quick breeze from the Jackets. They've opened up a nine point lead. Drake Friesen. Drain the corner three. Jack Sternberger steals the inbounds pass. And saves it as he's falling out of bounds. Friesen runs it down and eventually gets back to Jax. And he makes the three-pointer to force the timeout. And then Sternberger another steal. 
Goes in strong and finishes the Jackhammer. Braden Morgan just kind of forgot he was back there. Shelf tries to come right back at the Jackets, but Mecklenburg is there to block it out of bounds. Wow. So Kent Fisher's defense. Deny. Cash and Kitchens. Your favorite home remodeling show. This Kingfisher's lead is 11. Wow. Beautiful ball movement by the Jackets. And that looked kind of a different look there. Yeah, I hadn't really seen that one. Mark that one down about a minute 40 of the first quarter. Freeze and great defense on Morgan. Morgan drives. He's denied. Cash runs it down. Jackets ball, a minute five left in the first. Up 13. Yeah, I'd say if your sets are working this good, let's not fast break. Let's uh, get in the half court. And... Hmm. There's that strong pass. Yes. Just get that defense leaning that way, and Mecklenburg just rifles that pass inside. Again. Chell tries to quickly answer. He cannot. Kingfisher's got the ball with 30 seconds left. But if you uh, want to start a or have a clinic on zone offenses against the 2 3, this first quarter is a. Meet Dr. Reese. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, they were ready for that one. Oh but Kitchens, what a heads up play, and he gets it to go. What a finish to the quarter by the Jackets as they lead it 22 to 5. Stream with Pioneer iVideo and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Easily find and watch your favorite shows and movies anywhere on any device, perfect for the entire family. And easy to use. Enjoy Pioneer iVideo today. Interbank and Kingfisher serves the needs and caters to the economic strengths of the communities we serve with 15 statewide interbank locations. Through our associates at each location, we strive to provide a high level of personal and professional customer service in a community bank setting while maintaining our commitment to personal integrity, customer service, and community involvement. We're ready to help with all your banking needs. Interbank and Kingfisher, member FDIC, equal housing lender. <laughs> Take a look at our Kingfisher student section. Some lip syncing going on. That uh, right in the middle, that is your national anthem singer, by the way. She might not be lip syncing. Yeah. <laughs> Jackets on top, 22 to 5. Comes the man to man. Maddox just kind of went flying there. Ooh. Tough defense. Kitchens. Make him earn them. I don't mind it. 
So Harper will go to the line. First foul on Kitchens. And he misses. And that's why you foul. And misses them both. Kitchens gets a rebound. Looks like Guthrie's going to stay in the man, so we'll see what Kingfisher does to uh, go against this. And trapping out of it, going to get a quick foul. Good pass. Oh, Maddox. I think his right ankle gave on him there. He can't put any pressure on it. So Mecklenburg is down, and he is hurting. He did have a uh, foot injury in the offseason. I don't know if this is related to that or not. Kind of just looked like his ankle rolled on him pretty good. Yeah, like he was kind of waiting on the contact there, and man, when it came, it. Hmm. It's worse is Wade maybe is checking out the. Knee. Yeah, that's not. I want to see him checking out. So he's going to be helped up. Yeah, he's not putting any weight on that whatsoever. for the best. Seven twenty left in this second quarter. Jackets up twenty two to five. And we're going to have a travel. High post, Kitchens. The ball they think was tipped. Officials agree. Yeah, when that Guthrie player immediately points the other direction, there's your first clue that he touched it. Birdwell goes in strong. Misses, tipped back out by Reinauer.
Six minutes, 15 seconds left in the half. Guthrie stays in its man. I don't think Kitchens was quite ready for that yeah, pass. Yeah, tried the little slip screen there. And Have a jump ball as Shelf poked it away from Slazicki. Oh, they got a. I think they're going to get Friesen there. Friesen uh, had a, a bit of a bear hug garden over there. Come the Blue Jays. And the bucket up and in by Brad Morgan. That one worked. Snowberger yeah. draws the foul. Two quick ones for Morgan. Sternberger, they're going to say he traveled. Morgan in the corner. Back across to Harper. Stolen by Kitchens. Looks ahead. There's Friesen. He's going to go in. And yeah, that's a good call there. As he was leaning the whole way. Definitely leaning. The uh, Guthrie fans uh, agreeing with us. Friesen misses the first. Second foul on Shelf. Makes the second. First points of the uh, quarter. Breather team. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Good job, Sternberger. And a little extra elbow yeah. nudge. There we go. And again, he's rewarded. Oh, my goodness. He just got that call, didn't he? Wow. Um, what's that conference in Oklahoma, the Oklahoma City? I bet they don't make that call often in the uh, <laughs> suburban, suburban conference. Suburban. Yeah, suburban conference. Fisher's ball up 25 to 7. Oh, they're going to say travels with that arm around a little too strongly.
Kitchens contests that shot. Drake going up high. Looks like he's going to call that on. No. Isaiah Deerman called for that one, his first foul. Should be, yeah, it's one and one now. <laughs> Eight team fouls on the Blue Jays. Makes the first. <laughs> I know in his last two he's got a nice little uh, extra nudge after his release. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Kitchens got him there. Two on Kitchens. Here comes the trap. Kitchen's long arms. Birdwell. Two on him. That's the correct arm, by there the way, right go. there. Use the offhand. Three-pointer's good. Braden, excuse me, Aiden Hardeman. He's now 26-10. Freezing all the way. He's got nine. Yeah, I wonder. Did, I wonder if uh, did did you guys bet on you take freezing tonight? Two fouls now on Isaiah Deerman. And freezing completes the three-point play. He's got ten. It's twenty-nine to ten. Benford shot hits the side of the backboard. Birdwell able to get the rebound. Right now, one of his few open looks. The Kingfisher's ball. Scouted. Bounce pass, Jax. Bounce pass. We're going to get Drake for his second foul. Two minutes, 20 seconds left in the half. Three-pointer drained by Braden Morgan. Trims it to 29-13. And they get Jax. His first. I didn't see what he did down there. But. Oh, he was just trying to kind of run through him. This guy must have a little blood on him somewhere. Yeah. 
Kitchens checks in. Kitchens has two. Friesen has two. They're both in the game. As is Birdwell, and I think he's got two. Yep. Good box out by Freeze and allows Cash to come in and grab the rebound. <laughs> X will go to the line. Looking for his first points. That's the third foul on Braden Morgan, number 13. Still looking. Lucas Conradi into the game. Jack Sternberger with him. Dearman with the bucket. Now 15-point game, 50 seconds left in the half. There's the first field goal for right now. Yep, that's oh, yeah. illegal screen. Isaiah Dearman. Both teams uh, got several players with two and two fouls. Guthrie, a couple of them with three. Oh, yeah. Just this one there. It's been nabbing. I'm just going by the scoreboard. Yeah. You could be 100% correct, Dave. Sabrina, no. No. 22 seconds left in the half. Jackets going to try to take one final shot. It's been a long half. Seventeen fouls will do that. Oh, oh, right now, that'll make him feel better. Finishes strong. Thirty-four, fifteen jackets. Let's take a timeout. We'll come back with some stats and more. Stay with us. Myers Real Property offers an array of services to our great customers throughout central Oklahoma. Fill up with fuel or diesel, grab a snack, and choose from our wide selection of drinks at our four convenience store locations. Jacket Express in Kingfisher, Warrior Express in Okarchi, Whippet Express in Okeen, and Tiger Stop in Tuttle. We also feature Cowboy Express Fuel and Kingfisher and Tuttle as we provide fuel handling services for farmers, oil field sites, convenience stores, and more. Don't forget about One Day Cleaners in Kingfisher, where we not only offer laundry and dry cleaning for clothing and household items, but we can handle alterations needs as well. That's Myers Real Property, a proud supporter of high school athletics in your hometown. Life can hit hard, but great coverage keeps you on the winning team. Let the experts at Stevenson Insurance Center guide you through the personalized process of finding the right coverage for you, your family, or your business. Personal, commercial, or health, we can service all your insurance needs. Don't blow your coverage. Come see us at 2302 Frontage Road in Kingfisher. All of us at Stevenson Insurance Center say, Go Jackets! 34-15 at the half. Jackets leading Guthrie in this buckle of the Wheat Belt Invitational semifinal. Weatherford awaits the winner as that championship game will be at 7-20 tomorrow. The third place game will be at 4-20 as the loser of this one will play Perkins Tryon. And uh, David took Jackets a little bit to score there in the second quarter. They finally got a couple things going, but uh, who's done the scoring for the Jackets? Uh, well, you've got uh, six guys that have scored, so we'll just run straight down it. Uh, Xavier Ridenauer uh, had, I believe, the last five right there, didn't he? So yes. he's got five. Uh, Drake Friesen has ten. Uh, Jax has seven. 
Maddox, of course, who we saw, or we can kind of see over there in the trainer's room. He had two. Uh, Judd Birdwell with two and Caden Kitchens with eight all in the first period. Yeah, kind of if you joined us late, kind of a somber last part of that second half, second quarter as Maddox Mecklenburg received a pass down low and then went down and had to be helped off the court. They were checking out his knee. Yeah, he's been in the training room ever since, uh, just judging by his reaction and look how much pain he was in and then how little weight he was able to put on it. It just it didn't look good, but we will still hope for the best uh, for Maddox and hope that all will be good there. Jackets lead it 34-15. We're going to take an extended timeout and let you hear from some of our great sponsors. We'll be back with the second half after this. You can learn a lot from the people who power America. All you need to do is listen. So I came to Oklahoma to see where the energy I need, the energy we all need, comes from. I met with the folks who produce it every day. Frankly, they help me rethink a few things. I like them. I bet you will too. If you want to learn more about how oil and natural gas makes modern life go, meet me over at oerb.com slash micro. Bank First is deeply rooted in more than 50 communities statewide. Towns bound together tightly by loyalty. Bank First, loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit GoPioneer.com for more information. The city of Kingfisher continues to grow. New housing additions, new retail businesses, airport expansion, new restaurants are all a small part of what's taking place here. Kingfisher Electric proudly powers that growth as well as your home, your business, and the Kingfisher Yellow Jackets. That's Kingfisher Electric, your local municipal public power service provider, keeping Kingfisher and the Yellow Jackets charged for our future. Back to school. Now your worries about the kids going over on their data plans are back. Mom and Dad, this is for you. Right now, make the switch to Pioneer's unlimited data plans. Don't let data overages and high cell phone bills be something you stress about this school year. We have a plan for everyone. Let Pioneer handle your worries by stopping at a local office today to learn how you can save. Visit GoPioneer.com for details. Some restrictions may apply. Trail Creek Wellness in Kingfisher is a family medical clinic with an array of services, including family medicine, bio-T hormone replacement for men and women, and our newest service, the InMode machine, which does laser hair removal and non-surgical facelift and body contouring. Come see Rachel and her staff at 1001 Hospital Circle in Kingfisher. Our office hours are 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday and 8 to 2 on Friday. Give us a call for an appointment at 405-375-7935 or visit www.trailcreekwellness.com. Dennis's Express Pharmacy in Kingfisher offers fast, friendly service, including free delivery, free mail-out, free blood pressure, and much more. Come see us at 1308 South Main Street. Our convenient store hours and drive through window make it easy for you to shop for your health care needs. We're proud sponsors of all Kingfisher activities, programs, students, and staff. Dennis's Express Pharmacy says, Go Jackets! Friday Night Lights is one of the best ways to spend your time in the state of Oklahoma. Kingfisher may be a small town, but we win big. Here at Jackson's at Kingfisher, your locally family-owned and operated Chevy Buick and GMC dealership, we share in that small town pride. Whether you come by a new or pre-owned vehicle from our amazing sales team, or experience our great customer care from our service and parts department, every step of the way, we will treat you like family. In business for 30 years, Cheap Brothers Insurance has more than 150 years of combined experience ready to serve you. 
We are an independent agency that represents all major companies, which allows us to tailor to your specific insurance needs. No account is too big or too small as we offer home and auto coverage, but also specialize in commercial accounts. For that local service you deserve, stop by Cheap Brothers Insurance today at 219 North Main in Kingfisher. Call them at 405-375-4144 or visit CheapBrothers.com. Your health is our health. If you are in pain, are recovering from surgery, or have had to postpone a surgery, Physical Therapy Central is open. We take the health and safety of our patients, employees, and the community seriously. Our clinic is clean and safe so you can get the health care you need. Get back to work, back to play, and back to life faster with Physical Therapy Central. Schedule an appointment today at ptcentral.org or call 405-375-5654. Call Capital Roll-Off today for your next project. Our containers are great for construction, remodeling, teardowns, cleanouts, and junk removals. We drop it off, you fill it up, we haul it off. We also offer demolition services. Locally owned and operated by Corey Muggenberg, Capital Roll-Off has multiple sizes to fit your commercial or residential needs. Capital Roll-Off, call us today at 405-375-3333. As a local, member-owned electric cooperative, Cimarron Electric is committed to providing the highest quality of service at a reasonable price. We're dedicated to serving our member owners with integrity, accountability, innovation, and a commitment to community. For more information, call or visit our website. Cimarron Electric Cooperative, serving Northwest Oklahoma since 1936 and powering the needs of a new generation. Second half, about to begin. <laughs> Quick bucket by Braden Morgan, number 13. Freezing drives back out to Ridenauer. Cash from the corner. It's off the mark. There comes Sternberger flying in and the putback. Look at that guy going to the rim. Like Jackie Snodgrass back in Southwestern. Yeah. Hall of Famer. Sternberger defends the miss, gets the rebound. Kitchens <laughs> couldn't quite handle that one. They're even throwing in the hand movements up there. Did you see that? The screeners? Yep. yep. We did see uh, Maddox come out of the training room and so on crutches, ice on his knee as Jalen Shelf takes it to the rack. He came across the floor to the Kingfisher locker oh, room. Nice, He's quick move. Right now, our answers with his own driving bucket. Jacket's got to get back. Guthrie quickly comes down. Shelf scores. We don't want to get in a track meet with him. No. Right now, his own answer. Full timeout. Kingfisher, 547 to go. Third quarter. We'll be right back. Start the year anew in a brand new Ram 1500 from Johnson's of Kingfisher. 
Hi Oklahoma, it's Jeff Johnson. Have a look at our new Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab at johnsonsofkingfisher.com. Interested in a sports utility vehicle? See America's most awarded SUV, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, during the Start Something New sales event, now at a dealership you'll find in a place like Kingfisher. Johnsons of Kingfisher, Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram. Same name, same family since 1927. Since 1945, Kingfisher Body and Glass Shop has been operating as a family-owned and operated business that is dedicated to providing you with the highest quality service available. We have stayed true to our roots and remained right here in the same location at 504 North Main Street for over 75 years. At Kingfisher Body and Glass Shop, you can expect to interact with our friendly and knowledgeable staff. Our services include full body and framework, paintless dent repair, glass chip repairs, as well as full glass replacement. We also have a full-service shop for all of your auto needs. Give Kingfisher and Body Glass a call 24-7 at 405-375-4871. 40-21 Kingfisher. 5.47 to go. I, uh, I don't think Coach Reese was pleased with performances on the defensive end for no. a couple of trips there because he was uh, pretty yeah. vocal during that timeout. Well, I'm, I think it was probably because it was three laps. I post Sternberger, backdoor cut. <laughs> and right now we're... And I think Reese that was a yeah. I think illegal. Coach Reese made that call. Yeah, he did. He have does he have a whistle? He he worked for it and he finally got it. I I couldn't see. I'm assuming he stepped over the line yeah. when he threw it in. Yeah. See, I couldn't see it. I didn't see it. Good job, Sternberger. That pass wasn't something he was going to be able to pull down, so he tipped it back out to Ryan Mauer. They'll reset the offense up 21. He's fouled. That's four. Yeah, that's four on 13. He's got 10 points. So he'll be done for a little bit anyway. Judd Birdwell checks in for Sternberger. And Guthrie gets the steal. Benford scores and is fouled. Judd picks up number three. Three-point play. Forty-two twenty-four. Four and a half to go. Third quarter. Winner gets Weatherford. Kitchens three-pointer. There it is. He's got eleven. It's three jackets in double figures. Nice drive and dish. Deerman's able to finish it. Right now, he gets blocked. Yep, travel. Good defense by uh, Cash. Very good. Stayed right in front of him. That was nice. Not sure I could stay in front of that guy. 
Like Dave now or Dave in high school? Either. Uh oh. Eating up. Another three for Caden. He went from eight to 14 points in a hurry. Jack's back in and X takes a break. Yeah, oh, getting cash for the foul there. Hmm. One on him. They kind of bailed him out a little there. <laughs> on the ball. Yeah, that's good defense there by Caden. Yeah. Nowhere to go. Harvin tried to pivot out of it and could not. Kitchens misses, don't get the foul. Oh, get just it back. get the steal. I'll take that. <laughs> Harper turns around and says, how is that not a foul? I'm <laughs> just waiting for the whistle. How many times you see it, you miss the easy shot. And you get the foul, but Kitchens gets the steal. How many times have we seen that, too, out of Kitchens? Oh. After makes, not necessarily misses. Yeah. yeah, it's about the time I want to say hustle back, and then next thing you know, he's got it. They're going to yeah. catch Judd there kind of. Before on him. Yeah, giving Deerman a little uh, chuck in the back there. Conrad is going to come in for Birdwell. Nope. Come in for Kitchens. So let's leave the guy at four fouls out there. Shelf with eight. Jackets need to reset their offense here. Freezing. From the corner pocket, he's already got a three-point play. Here, Birdwell comes out with the four fouls. Make a four-point play as well. Timeout called on the floor. Jackets lead at 54 28. We got 129 left in third. We'll be right back. The Shed Grill and Bar in Kingfisher, owned by locals Brent and Steph Snyder, offers everything from burgers to a variety of salads and specialties such as chicken fried steak, pulled pork baked potatoes, and catfish. We also offer sandwiches, wraps, a variety of tacos, and popular appetizers. Gluten free and light options are also available, as is a full bar with six different draft beers on tap and a variety of Shed signature cocktails. Located at 1505 South Main Street, the Shed is open seven days a week. That's the Shed Grill and Bar. Good food, good friends, good time. All right, we're back. There's Scott Watkins. Jeremy Rowan. Sabrina Nall. 
Paula Leffingwell. and pulls that one down. And he puts up the three. Uh oh Freezing hot. Third made three for Drake. 17 points. Somebody wants an orange jade. Goes up high for the board. Gets it to Sternberger. Conradi has it taken away. Harper gets it. And then Harper nails the three-pointer. Six seconds. Well, I don't think X knew how much time really? was on the clock. <laughs> I can't believe he had time to look up. <laughs> Score is 57-31, fourth quarter coming up. We'll be right back. Born and raised in Kingfisher, Dr. Drew Hendricks returned to his hometown to take over the Kingfisher Family Dental and Implant Clinic. Dr. Hendricks has taken the practice to new heights with his state-of-the-art facility, now open at 2700 South Frontage Road. He and his upbeat, fun, and caring staff offer cleanings of all sorts, implants, crowns, bridges, dentures, filling procedures, root canals, and much more. We love to see patients of all ages. That's the Kingfisher Family Dental and Implant Clinic. Call 405-375-4949 for an appointment, and be sure to visit our office at 2700 South Frontage Road. Bank First is deeply rooted in more than 50 communities statewide. Towns bound together tightly by loyalty. Bank First, loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. Welcome back. Avery Davis says you will not believe this. Heath, Please wake up, bro. Oh, sing it. Sing it, Jennifer. There's Justin. A little mini flex there, too. A little spring in his step when he came back down. He's got four. Chuck goes to the line for the end one. Reitner kept it alive. Wow, they kept that with us. Yep. Uh-oh. Cash lost control there after it tipped away. My shelf, and he dove for it. Or he lost his footing one way or another and out of bounds off the jackets. Turn around jumper no good. Birdwell with a rebound. We're gonna have a jump ball. <laughs> Couldn't help but look towards Coach Reese after that call. Yeah, he kind of knew it was coming. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get Sternberger there running through the screen. Number two on him. Yeah. 
think this guy maybe would let Jackie watch the game. Chelf. His third. Cash frustrated a little bit there. Helped the young man with his momentum and got caught doing it. Timeout coming. The thing is, you, you don't feel like the Jackets are playing. And they're up really, 26. Yeah, they don't, they're not <laughs> playing great, really not doing that well on the defense, defensive end. And I think you said they gave up 18 in that third quarter. Mm -hmm. But they uh, are up 26. Spread them out, then split them. Drake freezing back in. Judd will take a break. with the steal. I believe he was thinking about maybe dunking that. I would have. By the way, congratulations to the Dover Lady Longhorns. Yep. I'll hold off on that. Get a finish here. They're going to say it's good or on the floor. <laughs> Bucket is good. <laughs> Foul is on Kitchens, his third. Dover knocked off drum of the night, one of the teams that had beaten them earlier this year. Lady Longhorn's in the finals of the Sculpture Conference Tournament tomorrow. Nice. Matt Peck doing a great job in his first season as head coach. I know the Okarchi boys are in the finals of the Coil Tournament. I'm assuming the well, no help defense there. Jack's just Went in uh, untouched. And he, <laughs> he just drew number five on Braden Morgan. Which was part of the reason he went untouched down here because Morgan had the four fouls and he was the help defender. Oh. And he did not budge. And then uh, Jack says, well, you're not going to foul me down there. You're going to do it down here. I'm out by Guthrie, looks like. Or maybe he was shrugging his shoulders. Yeah, you're right. He does want a timeout. Let's keep it here, though. Um, anytime you had a chance to get a camera on Chris Combs carrying a towel, you do it. One of the best. So tomorrow... In the girls' championship game. Come on, ladies. It's a little more exciting than that. We got a slew of eighth graders there. Yep. 
Girls Championship game, it's Kingfisher versus Weatherford at 6 p.m. We'll have that here on kingfishersports.tv. Boys Championship at 7.20. And if Kingfisher doesn't blow his 26-point lead in the fourth quarter, it'll be Kingfisher versus Weatherford. I think that's a two versus three matchup. The girls game will be a set four versus six. So two top ten matchups. I did not realize that Casey Bays had joined the UCO women's staff. I just saw her here. I know uh, Coach Young coached with her for a year at one of the Edmonds Schools Memorial, was it? Yeah. Um, before coming here. There's Casey Bays, former OBU coach. But I just saw her walking out here with a UCO shirt on. I missed, I missed that. We well, got a lot going on, Michael. Didn't did not realize that. Freezing hot, right? From the corner. How about 20 points for Drake? The only thing that can cool him off. Yes. Is a large orange aid. And I think he's got one coming his way. Conradi, Ber uh, Bergwell, uh, yeah, Bergwell check back in. by Birdwell. Still by Harper. Cash going to pick up number three there. left. Guthrie has not shot particularly well from the foul line. <laughs> Makes the second. Sternberger draws a foul. He fakes the pass down here to the corner. Coleman Gillis. He's about to find his way in. Jet Birdwell. Drake is done. Sternberger's done. Judd is done. So 13 for Sternberger tonight. 
Conradi, Will Banks, Jet Bird, Will Gillis, and Matthew Mecklenburg into the game. Yeah, I don't know about you, Dave. Kind of been in a fog ever since about the middle of that second quarter when Maddox went down. You just you hate it for the young man. Such a great kid. We were talking about that yesterday, you know. Yeah. Bright young man and never want to see anybody be injured. Didn't look good when it happened. Didn't look good when they checked him out. And judging, he, judging by the tears in his eyes when he walked across the floor on crutches and ice at halftime, it didn't appear no. good. And you lose a lot of toughness. I mean, you know, the kid is, right. I mean, he, he's built like Superman. I mean, really, I mean, he's he's strong. Yeah. And just did, does a little bit of everything for you. And, yeah. you know, he's one of this core group of seniors. And they're all like brothers. Gillis is going to go to the line for two with a minute 29 left. So. You know, I know the other seniors are, he's on the back of their mind while they've got to go out and play the ball yeah. game. And it's five fouls on Isaiah Dearman. Jalen Harper back there deep. They get it to him, but after Gillis makes the second. Fun fact, Coleman Gillis has now scored in the last three varsity games. Hey, there you go. If you had that on your bingo card. Mark it. Mecklenburg. Couldn't get the driving bucket to drop. Final 40 seconds. Blocking foul there. It's on Conradi. Sure, they know that's Russell Stitt right on the camera. <laughs> Down to ten seconds. Sixty nine to forty four will be your final as the Jackets move into the championship game. We're gonna take a timeout when we come back with some final stats, so please stay with us. Start the year anew in a brand new Ram fifteen hundred from Johnson's of Kingfisher. Hi Oklahoma, it's Jeff Johnson. Have a look at our new Ram fifteen hundred Bighorn Crew Cab at Johnson's of Kingfisher dot com. Interested in a sports utility vehicle? See America's most awarded SUV, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, during the Start Something New sales event now at a dealership you'll find in a place like Kingfisher. Johnson's of Kingfisher, Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram. Same name, same family since 1927. It's the end of a 
long day here at the Buckle of the Wheat Belt Invitational. It's capped with Kingfisher's 69-44 to victory in the boys' semifinal game, which makes complete an all-Kingfisher Weatherford final. The girls' game will be at 6 p.m. tomorrow. The boys will follow at 7.20 as those two schools will square off for the Buckle of the Wheat Belt Championship games. Dave, who did score for the Jackets tonight? Yeah, about leading the way tonight, uh, Drake Friesen with 20 on four made three-pointers. You've got uh, Caden Kitchens with 16, uh, 13 apiece for Xavier Ridenauer and Jack Sternberger, uh, four for Judd Birdwell and two for Maddox. And, excuse me, one for Coleman Gillis. Heck yeah, because you don't get 69 until he makes that free throw. They're stuck at 68 there. But there's no doubt our player of the game tonight. Yes, Jack, definitely. Jack Sternberger had a great game. Uh, yes, Xavier he did. Right now had a great game. But Drake Friesen, people are going to walk out of here talking about the night he had. 20 points, four made three-pointers. He is your medic, pharmacy, and gifts player of the game, a free large orange aid coming his way, courtesy of Trevor Wilson and the gang at the Snack Shack. So that's going to do it for tonight's broadcast again tomorrow. Lady Jackets versus Weatherford at 6 p.m. Kingfisher Weatherford boys at 7.20. Now, keep, uh, pay attention to our social media. If they're running behind like they are tonight, we'll keep it updated on there, let everybody know if we're going to be getting started late because, again, those will be games 7 and 8 again. So there's a good chance that they start running behind by the time you get to those games. So just keep an eye on my social media. We'll let you know. Until then, I want to say thanks to Eli Johnson, to Kenny Lunsford, Russell Stitt, Dave Cameron. I'm Michael Swisher. This has been Kingfisher High School Basketball presented by Johnsons of Kingfisher.